Imagine you're driving your friend's car and it, out of nowhere, just dies, starts making this knocking sound, and you barely get off the road before you lose your steering. Well, that's what happened in my friend's car because she decided to not change the oil. So it ran out of oil and she ended up losing about $5,000. So today I'm going to tell you how to change the oil in your truck or car or whatever so that this doesn't happen to you. All right, changing oil in any truck, like with mine, is a lot easier than in a car because you don't have to lift it or anything like that, which makes life a lot easier. So you're gonna pull the truck on the flat ground, preferably in a shop or in a garage. Have all of your items ready, a oil filter and the oil that you'll need, uh, tools such as a wrench or ratchet, and an oil uh, filter wrench. All right, you're gonna want to let the truck cool off. All right, while waiting on the truck to cool, pop your hood and unscrew the oil cap, which on my truck is located over here. Go ahead and crawl underneath then with your oil drain pan and put it underneath your oil pan. After it's cooled long enough, you're going to want to unscrew the drain plug and let the oil, unscrew it really slowly and let the oil drain from there. It may take up to five minutes depending on how long or how much oil you have in there. Um, after that, go ahead and unscrew your filter with the filter wrench. Um, if it doesn't come off that way, it may sound cliche, but stab it with a flathead screwdriver with a hammer and try and gently unscrew it like that. That usually gets it to come undone. Um, after that, you're going to want to get the new filter and fill it up with oil and then lubricate the o-ring on top of it. Once that is done, you'll put it back on with the uh, oil drain wrench or the oil filter wrench to 10 to 12.5 pounds per foot according to Super Duty PSD. Then you're going to want to screw the oil drain plug in, which is extremely important, to 54 pounds per inch according to Super Duty's PSD. After that, you're going to want to discard the oil filter and oil properly. Then, refill the engine with proper oil to the correct amount. Mine takes 15 quarts. Finally, you're going to want to check, the, check to ensure the oil level is where it needs to be. So now you know how to change the oil in a vehicle. From draining to adding new oil, just do a little research for any vehicle. Uh, gather your materials and you'll be changing oil like a pro. Be sure to know all you need to before attempting to change your oil. Stop it.